Hello. Welcome again to Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host, and Ray here. What's your last name? Squires. Squires. Ray Squires. Ray yes. Squires. Ray is going to be speaking about uh, the Prump Model Railroad Club. And if I look a little dusty, it's not because of the, the, the lenses. Uh, I, just, I just got back from uh, the Black Rock Desert and, uh, and Burning Man. So I look really dusty to me. <laughs> but anyway, let's speak about the, the Railroad Club first. You come out there, you guys come out there quarterly? We do now, yes. Uh, when the club first started with the library and we made the coordination with the former director, we were doing it every other month, but it got to the point where we're kind of strapped for members uh, that we wound up being a, a quarterly. So that takes a toll yeah. Yeah. as we get older. Yes, and uh, young people don't seem to have this, the same interest because it's it's all games and stuff, and yes. but we do have, we actually have a high schooler that is a member, and of course he has a hard time participating a lot of times, except on Saturdays with his school and all of that. No, you had somebody who came in from Colorado? No, uh, he's local boy. Yeah. He's the one that has the whoops at home or something? Yes, right. And he's still with you guys? Yes, he is. Whoa, yeah, Kyle's that's... still with us and yes, everything. Yeah. and. Uh, you know, but the majority of our folks are over 21, shall we say. You know, it, we know how that goes. Uh, but we try to do a lot all over the, the area. Our club's been around since 2007 and formalized in 2008. We've gone through several different iterations. We've been very fortunate since 2013 when Miss Wonderly, the director at the time, set us up to where we could meet you know and set up and entertain the public have fun with them yeah. and be able to see what we do because each module is done by the individual and it's kind of a different setup what do you have about 12 modules or 14 we've got a total of about 26 modules Jeez. but uh, uh we it's don't have the space shall we say in the library to be able to do more with making it where people can get around it you know we don't have any interference yeah. We've got a lot of different things going on right now. Uh, in fact, just this morning we had our, our meeting prior to the setup. And for the seventh year now, we presented the library director with a complete model railroad train set to use for their Christmas raffle, as we call it. Uh, they'll sell tickets and everything. Free gratis from the club. It's our way of saying thank you to the community and to the library and they sell the tickets and it's money that's not into the budget. So whatever they make, it allows them to do things that might otherwise be somewhere else. I'm not giving away any secrets, but we can use the money at this time, but I don't want to go into that. I do understand though. Yes, yes. And, uh, but we do like to have participation and we invite each of you to come out and participate. Come and visit us. We'll blow the horn for you. We'll even let you blow it. Uh, we'll be there on the 15th through the 17th from the hours that the library opens until just before they close with the exception of Saturday. Saturday we must get out of there in the afternoon and have everything moved out. So and you'll have how many guys out there maybe? Well, we should have about eight, or eight, eight of our folks there with the setups and be running. We also have several displays one of our members has oh, yeah. got a an old American flyer type set that he's modified so we can put it on display and children from six to 96, they can go play with the controls. And you have the other display that uh, that shows you the different gauges too. We have the different scales for the, of the yeah. HO all the way down to Z scale and up to garden railroading. And uh, additionally, we've got one of our members that's bringing in each one of our setups now what he is building for his home. And it's all scratch built and beautifully set up. The last time we had, he had little cabin, had plates, whole silverware set up in it, and it was lit. Uh, you know, and all in HO scale. Oh, and then, you know, besides the library, we also have a, a big display over at the, the museum, museum that uh, we've, had well we started building it some years ago it took us a while 
Now we can blame COVID for anything, but yeah. uh, it's there for people to enjoy uh, there at our museum. We tried to depict as the board and, and the director there had asked that we set the tone for what it was in the early railroading days here within Nye County. So we have it running through Beatty, we have it running through Rhyolite as it, it kind of our concept of what it existed back about uh, 1906 through about 1911. And it just, it's very well decorated, the train runs, uh, it's, an, it's a model that's, that's been of that era. All of the things are there for that period of time. A little steam locomotive, is it a 240 or? No, it's a, a, a 260, a 460 rather, do I'm you, sorry. Do you, <laughs> Do you know what thing. that means? <laughs> yeah. And uh, but everything is period and set there, and we have little placards that explain what some of it is. If one of us or the director or one of her staff is not around it to, to explain it, and uh, and you and add then, and you add little tidbits from time to time too. Oh yes, yes, yes. We've got to have little things. We've got our ranch. We've got uh, a lot of the things that were in that area at about that time rendition of the mining that took place in those time frames. And also our club is for the last nine years, excluding COVID, we participated in Beatty Days. We take our modules up there. The folks up there have been fantastic. You know, the reception for us has been just outstanding. And we all have a good time. That's what it's all about. Yeah, they don't get out much there, so. They don't, they don't get out much. Nah, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe prospecting. I, right. <laughs> I don't know, John. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, All right, so this is going to be the 15th through the 17th over at our library at 701 East Street. Uh, the doors open at 10 o'clock. Uh, so they'll be in the, the meeting rooms. You come in the main doors, make a quick left, and uh, you go all the way back there. And you'll have uh, two, three, or four gentlemen that will be showing you what their uh, their equipment does. You have a beautiful train set up for the Alaskan Railroad. I'm picturing it right now because I've seen it on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, I got back into modeling after many years of being off, being forced to work, you know, all those kind of things. What uh, did is my wife, she's been gone a few years, but she wanted me back into the system and then she designed a North Pole village that we have for the Alaskan system. We also have Denali National Park. Uh, and yeah. if people don't believe it, we actually have a little placard there that's on a billboard and it says right where you're at. But our Christmas show, which will be in the first full week in December, as we call this, this setup, we actually have snowstorms so that everybody can come and visit, see Santa is all ready to launch. I won't go any further on that particular one because that would take out the surprise to the people out there. All right. So that's coming up the 15th through the 17th. So let's all look for that. And uh, another thing that's coming up in uh, 20 days from when we're taping today is the, uh, the RAM event, the remote area medical event, uh, Saturday, October 1st and Sunday, October 2nd. Yeah. Uh, where the parking lot opens at, and, and, we, and then the line starts forming at 12.01 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday morning. Clinic doors open at 6 a.m. and per, patients are served in first come first serve ba basins, basis. Dental, you get fillings, cleaning, exams, and extractions. Vision, you get comprehensive exams, glasses made on site. Medical exams, medication adjustment, chiropractic adjustment, referrals, medication refills, mental health, medication review, psychiatric assessments, mental health screenings and counseling, women's health, pap smears, exams and certificates for free mammograms. For more information, call the coalition at 707757279970. We're also looking for more general support volunteers. So we need volunteers Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the, uh, the 30th, 1st, and 2nd of October. We need kitchen food prep, patient registration check-in, volunteer check-in, set up and tear down. 
We need parking lot check-in. Oh, that's what I do. Interpreters, general medical, dental, vision area support. You can register. You can register at www.ramusa.org slash volunteer. So that's ramusa.org slash volunteer. It's going to be at the Pathways Building on Perum Valley High School campus. 2000 South Mount Charleston Drive West. So this is this is our seventh year. So, like I said, I survived Burning Man. It was really brutal this year. It was hotter than all oh, get out. I just have a few pictures here. That's our bar that we, we have, the Sharky's Bar. That's some of the folks over there. And that is one of our members. Mm-hmm. He has this... He likes to to bathe people's feet, so more power to him. It's a little little weird, but he's he's a lovely individual, <laughs> and uh, he says it's a spiritual uh, thing. Then we had the uh, the naked pub crawl. We had nine hundred naked souls come through there. We were the middle of that group. All the other people just gave them drinks when they would stop. Not us. We gave them hot dogs. <laughs> and we gave the people who are uh, vegans grilled cheese. We took care of them. Yeah. And we had the, the best compliment from the, the organizers. They said they couldn't get the people to leave for the next uh, position. Cool. This is the, that group over there. I got finally a picture that I could show you that didn't show anything bad. We ate like kings. This is a gentleman that uh, he owns a, a winery. And that's the hors d'oeuvres in the front. We had uh, dry tip. Beautiful. Oh, God, that food was good. I always gain weight when I go up there. And that's our class picture at the end. Oh, how sweet. Oh, <laughs> in the dust. So another year at Burning Man. I spent about 14 days there. And uh, I still have my uh, playa throat, which is very gravelly so ray thank you very much for stopping by john thanks for asking me over i really enjoyed it okay ram october 1st and 2nd see ya